I know Keanu said that Chad Stahelski and himself were taking a long break from the John Wick series but should we have seen the end, it ended on a note I feel we could live with. If they can find another story that will build onto the John Wick series then so be it but if not, I truly left the movie happy and felt it was done. Don't leave until after the credits are done. Trust me, it's not finished. Delivers the best high-octane action thriller from the franchise. Pros, there was a bit let down in JW3, but they came back with a banger JW4 and delivered one of the best actions of all time. Stunt choreography, camera work, editing and heart-pumping BGMs were totally bonkers. There were many prolonged action sequences throughout the movie, each of them never fails to deliver some thrill and adrenaline rush. Besides action set pieces, JW4 contributed well to world building and this whole tetralogy did a good job in world building and character establishments. I hope it will be well used in its upcoming spin-off series and movies. Cast did a great job, especially Keanu Reeves and Donnie Yen. Cons, few silly logical mistakes that you can't ignore. Overall, to the action lovers and John Wick fans out there, don't miss out on watching it on the big screen. Must watch. Highly recommended. In a world where movie sequels seem to be loathed even before they are released, the John Wick series has remained remarkably consistent and well received. In fact all three of the first films have the same IMDb rating of 7.410 and I noticed recently that I gave them all the same rating of 8 tenths. Incredibly, I think, John Wick, Chapter 4 Feet is the best the series has to offer. This movie was a wild ride. I was a little disappointed when I first saw the runtime for this one was going to be almost 3 hours. I find that is becoming a tough runtime for a lot of films to justify. This film does it with no trouble. The pacing is so incredibly fast that the 3 hours pass by in no time. I remember looking down at my watch early in the film thinking maybe 20 to 25 minutes had gone by and almost an hour had already passed. A large reason for this is the action sequences. When an action sequence starts in this film, buckle in, because it is going to go for nearly 20 to 30 minutes and be non-stop craziness for the duration. The action sequences in this film are perfectly shot as they always are in this series. Lovely, wide camera angles so we can see everything that happens and know that it isn't all being edited to look this way. These people are actually doing these things. As always with these films you need to go in a rather incredible suspension of belief. Wick is nearing superhuman level at this point. It doesn't matter how many cars you hit him with or how high the building he falls off is, he'll be back and fighting again 10 seconds later. It's best to switch your brain off at these points I have found. Finally, I love the main villain in this movie, played excellently by Bill Skarsgård. He was everything a villain should be. Calm and seemingly in control, menacing and easy for the audience to hate and root against. This film was a blast from start to finish. Nine tenths.